Have you ever thought, there's got to be a better and simpler way to learn organizational strategies? 5 Minutes Learning has a global and diverse collection of case studies to help management students click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to stay updated with our upcoming and interesting case studies. Hey there, are you ready for a taste of the dark side? We're diving into the world of Montreux Chocolate USA and their quest to bring some healthy dark chocolate goodness to the American market. Picture this, back in October 2012, Andrea Torres, the brains behind Montreux Chocolate USA's new product development, was knee-deep in data from a Nielsen Bases 2 test. It had been over 15 months since Apollo Foods decided to distribute Montreux's European chocolate treats in the United States. Apollo wanted a bigger slice of the market, especially in the upscale chocolate game. Torres was pretty pleased with how things were shaping up, but a big board meeting was on the horizon, and she had to come up with a killer presentation. Her boss, David Raymond, had set some ambitious sales targets, and that put even more pressure on Torres to make sure everything was on point. Should they do more testing, start small and select markets, roll out regionally, or just go big and launch nationwide? Now, a bit of backstory. Apollo Foods is a big deal in the world of consumer packaged goods, based in sunny Los Angeles. They make all kinds of yummy stuff, from confectionery to snacks and even cheese. They're pretty loaded, with billions in revenue, and the Consumer Foods Group is one of their star divisions. Back in 2011, Apollo snagged the exclusive rights to make and sell Montreux chocolates in the U.S. Montreux, a Swiss chocolate heavyweight had dreams of making it big in America, and Apollo was looking for a sweeter spot in the chocolate market. So they joined forces, and Montreux Chocolate USA was born. The plan was to use Apollo's massive sales team to get these chocolates into every nook and cranny of the U.S., from big supermarkets to your corner drugstore. But before they could do that, they needed a game plan. And that's where Andrea Torres and her team came in. Now, let's talk chocolate statistics. Chocolate is like the king of the candy world, making up more than half of all confectionery sales worldwide. In the U.S., it's a $35 billion industry, and dark chocolate is where the health-conscious folks are at, with its high cocoa content. But it's not all sweetness and light. The competition is fierce, with big players like Fisher's, Apollo Foods, and Swiss giant Cornelius S.A. all vying for a piece of the chocolatey pie. Lancaster Company wears the crown as the U.S. chocolate champ, though, with a whopping 34.8% of the market. And speaking of chocolate, there are different segments like bars, seasonal treats, and those bite-sized snacks you can't resist. In the U.S., most of us go for the mass-market stuff, but premium chocolate is also making waves. So, there you have it. Montreux Chocolate USA is gearing up for a big debut in the American chocolate scene. Will they make it big with their healthy dark chocolate? Only time will tell, but we'll be keeping an eye on this sweet adventure. Let's dive into what makes us crave those delicious chocolate treats and how Montreux Chocolate USA's new product development team is whipping up some exciting dark chocolate options for us. So, here's the scoop. When it comes to chocolate, it seems like women and men have some different cravings. Ladies tend to link chocolate to positive experiences like rewarding themselves and boosting their moods. They're all about new flavors and ingredients, and they even consider the health perks like improved heart health and lower blood pressure. On the flip side, guys are more budget-conscious and practical. They look for chocolate that gives them a quick energy boost, is convenient, and won't break the bank. Convenience is a big deal when it comes to buying chocolate. Around 75% of chocolate shoppers grab their sweet fixes at supermarkets, and it's split pretty evenly between the candy aisle and the checkout counter. Now, here's where things get interesting. Women have a knack for telling premium chocolate from the regular stuff. 
They see premium chocolate as a luxurious treat with better taste and more flavor variety. Plus, they think it's healthier, probably because they know that lower quality chocolates often have artificial stuff added in. Also, almost 40% of adults prefer mini and snack sized chocolates to the regular bars, which might be a way to keep their chocolate consumption in check while staying on the health wagon. Now, let's talk about Montro Chocolate USA's new product development journey. Their mission was clear, take Montro chocolates nationwide in the US and cook up some new chocolatey delights. Andrea Torres and her team decided to focus on dark chocolate, especially with the growing interest in health and wellness. They teamed up with Nielsen Bases to put their dark chocolate dreams to the test. Bases is a big deal in the marketing world, and they know their stuff when it comes to launching new products. They had 12 factors that could make or break a product success, and Montro wanted to make sure they nailed every one of them. So, they started with an idea screening test, where they narrowed down 45 ideas to the top 12. Dark chocolate with fruit was a crowd pleaser. Next, they went for a snapshot concept test to get a sneak peek at how these ideas would perform in the real world. Five dark chocolates with fruit concepts made the cut, with flavors like blueberry, pomegranate, and cranberry stealing the show. With the concepts locked in, Montro's R&D team got busy making prototypes with different fruit flavors, textures, and cocoa percentages. They had to taste test a bunch of them to find the perfect formula. Then came the focus groups, where folks got to try the chocolates and share their thoughts. The 70% cocoa dark chocolate with fruit got the thumbs up, especially when it came to healthiness. But that wasn't the end of it. Montro had to figure out how to market these goodies. They considered whether to emphasize health benefits or taste and whether to stick with the Montro name or come up with something new. Size and packaging were also on the table. Some liked small portions for portion control, while others preferred the classic candy bar size. To get even more insights, they did a second snapshot concept test. This time, they tweaked the messaging and packaging to see what resonated best with consumers. The big moment came with Bases 2 testing, where they contacted folks online to gauge their interest in buying the dark chocolate. The results were promising, but Torres wanted to make sure everything was rock solid before taking the plunge. Now, Torres is gearing up for a board meeting where she'll lay out her recommendations. It's a big decision, and she's got to consider everything from product testing to a nationwide launch. It's a chocolate adventure, and we can't wait to see how it unfolds. Now, to make European chocolate a hit in the USA, you've got to bring a slice of European heritage and culture along for the ride. Collaboration with a Swiss chocolate maestro doesn't hurt either. It's all about creating that authentic experience. So, who's Montreux USA targeting with their delectable dark chocolate creations? Well, they've got their sights set on the 45 to 64 age group. And considering that people are becoming more health conscious and leaning towards dark chocolate, it seems like Montreux USA is riding a wave of growing interest. Now, let's talk distribution. Montreux chocolates need to find their way onto the shelves of supermarkets and Walmart. These retail giants are the go-to spots for chocolate hunters, so extensive marketing through them is a must. But here's a cool idea. Montra Chocolates could set up small mobile stores in the southern USA. This could attract people who love to munch on chocolates while on the go and help create a lasting impression in the minds of consumers. Oh, and here's an interesting tidbit. 38% of customers in the USA prefer their chocolates in smaller pieces, and over half of them are female. So, getting creative with different shapes and sizes could be a great way to lure in customers. Fast forward to October 2012, and it's been over 15 months since Apollo Foods got the rights to distribute Montreux chocolates in the USA.
Andrea Torres, the director of new product development at Montreux Chocolate USA, is gearing up for a big board meeting on December 10. She's got to present the status of the Montreux acquisition and lay out plans for introducing the new product in the American market. Here's where it gets exciting. Torres has to make a crucial decision. Should they run more tests on the product, start small with test markets, roll it out regionally, or go all in with a nationwide launch? It's a make or break moment, and Torres needs to be on point. Now, about that product name, that's still up in the air. Should they stick with Montreux, go with a sub brand like Healthy Cravings, or maybe even hitch a ride on the Apollo name? Tough choices. In the end, the team is leaning towards a national launch under the sub-brand name Healthy Cravings. It seems like a perfect fit for health-conscious consumers, and the data suggests it's a smart move. In conclusion, Montreux USA is gearing up for an exciting journey into the American chocolate market. With a focus on health, creative distribution strategies, and a dash of European charm, they're on track to achieve their impressive company objectives. We can't wait to see these delicious healthy cravings chocolates hit the shelves and sweeten our lives. Thank you so much for listening to this video. Do not forget to subscribe this YouTube channel for receiving updates about my upcoming case study videos.